You're in a city of almost 300,000 people. Who's going to pay for this? Well, you know, we, we entered in the contract with the lab uh, six, seven weeks ago. So um, we are paying for it from our budget. We're going to look to expand that next week. We're going to look to expand antibody testing as well. So um, we're going to look to the federal government for reimbursement. But at the end of the day, this is dollars well spent because you're not going to get to move the city forward unless you get more robust testing and widespread, not just for people with symptoms. Any sense on, on how much that bill is going to be? Well, the contract that we had in place is about uh, close to 500 tests per day. And um, that's about, obviously, we're going to be doing that Monday through Friday. That ends up being about $750,000 for the short term of the contract. We've seen the price of the tests increase. So more than likely, when we renew that, it's going to be an increased cost, but uh, probably in the range of a million dollars. A lot of uh, people have been driving up in their cars to do this, and some have been walk-ins. How, how is this going to work operationally? Yeah, so um, we're going to be doing the same locations. Today, we're actually at the Bethune Center, which is on the south side of Jersey City, um, a more economically challenged area of Jersey City versus, let's say, the downtown area. So we're there today. Next week, we're going to set up a mobile site. So we're going to be moving around the city to different communities. We're going to be partnering with the Jersey City Housing Authority to uh, starting these uh, broader testing in more vulnerable communities. And we're going to go from there. People who are asymptomatic are going to be tested. Discuss why that is so critical. Look, it, it's important that we have broad testing so you could start to get people comfortable to get back into their work environment and that you can identify clusters earlier. So um, if you think about um, how we're going to be working with, let's say, a restaurant who might have uh, uh, six, seven employees that don't don't have health insurance but need to get tested so that people know that they're safe environment in that restaurant, um, we could facilitate that for them. If you think about the seniors living in a high rise building on the south side of Jersey City, just senior housing, we want to test in those locations broadly to make sure that we're getting ahead of any potential issues. Identifying uh, these clusters and these individuals is critical just because knowledge is power, obviously, in this case yeah. particularly. But now uh, the second part of that is this idea of contact uh, tracing. That's going to be another incredible cost and another really human yeah. resources issue. How's that going? I mean, we, we struggle with that. It's not because of a shortage of, of uh, volunteers. I know you've reported and it's been widespread reported about uh, volunteers or using the broader community. There's all sorts of HIPAA rules around what information we can share, how contact tracing can work. And then also there's union contracts that um, if a job can be performed by an actual employee, are we allowed to put a volunteer in place over there? So um, the contact tracing continues to be a challenge for us. And that is a crucial part of this. We've got to test a lot of people, thousands, tens of thousands of people in this city alone before we can accurately say how quickly there's going to be uh, an economic reopening <laughs> to the city. Do you have in your mind any kind of sense of what time frame you're thinking of? Well, I mean, the governor decides a lot of that, but the reality is that there's no vaccine and absence of treatment. Um, the circumstances aren't going to change much today from three weeks from now. Um, I'm a proponent of carefully but diligently moving forward every single day with a gradual reopen. There are a lot of businesses that you could immediately reopen in the near term with certain precautions and safety in place, um, but you can allow the economy to start recovering. Further details ahead. Mayor, thanks for taking a few minutes. Thank us. you very much, David.